all those Apollo missions that took place in, in the 70s, surely NASA must have gathered another space dust and rock. So what's it trying to achieve by doing this? Uh, well, I think, and first, the target, there's, uh, scientists will always tell you you can never have enough material. Uh, so they'd always be happy with a bit more. Um, but I think the main reason for this initiative is to establish the legal principle uh, that you can take ownership of lunar material. Uh, the United States has been pushing this as a position in international law for over five years now, uh, and now it is, is ripe for the time to encourage actual activity rather than simply expressing an opinion. Okay, well, there have been many countries which have had the means uh, to get to the moon, but that's changed in recent uh, few months, of course. I'm thinking of the Saudi Arabian mission as well as uh, uh, China as, as well, of course, and India. But so how is access to the moon regulated? Uh, well, there's, a, there's an international treaty dating from 1967, which is called the Outer Space Treaty, that establishes some key fundamental principles, uh, such as the freedom to use for outer space for all states, and that states can't claim ownership over any specific piece of territory in outer space. Uh, however, the actual nitty-gritty regulation is done on a state-by-state -state basis. Uh, so the United States has a body of national laws that apply to companies like SpaceX. Uh, the UK has its own version of laws, uh, as do a number of other countries. Uh, and this is the primary way that sort of private entities and private citizens are uh, regulated under the international framework. And are there specific guidelines for moon mining? Uh, no, there are no specific international guidelines for, for moon mining uh, as yet. There are several proposals uh, for such as I was part of the Hague Space Governance, uh, Space Resources Governance Working Group, uh, and we proposed a set of draft building blocks uh, for this regulation. But uh, And there are discussions ongoing at the United Nations, uh, at the Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space in Vienna, uh, but there are no specific binding rules as to how to conduct moon mining as of yet. So what kind of companies are going to be, you know, go on this endeavor, so to speak? Are we, are we expecting to see a rush for moon dust and space rocks? Uh, probably not. Uh, the economics are challenging, to say the least. Uh, there are several companies who are, are interested. Uh, one of the big ones is iSpace, which is a, originally a Japanese company that was involved in the Google Lunar X Prize, uh, although they have since broadened out. Uh, we'll probably see other companies that are involved in supporting scientific missions, such as those undertaken by NASA and the European Space Agency. Um, so there will be a lot more activity than there has been, um, but we shouldn't be expecting a California-style gold rush.